Okay, this is a very quick video of adding a Qi wireless charger to a Kindle Paperwhite. As you can see, I have the whole thing taken apart. What I did here is put a positive lead to uh, pin one. The ground is just stuck to the shield. It's just a lot easier than trying to get those pins because those are very small pins to solder onto. Ran the wire up. Got to go into a Qi wireless charger. This thing was for a Samsung S3 that we never used. So what I'm going to do now is mount it a little bit permanently in the case. In the case, took the soldering iron, cut the little, you know, solder out the little tabs where I'm going to stick this thing so the wires can pass through. Now I'm just going to go on to insulating it. Okay, as you can see, I just put a little electrical tape in here because this casing is conductive. It's an aluminum casing. And uh, when this thing gets flipped around, I have to have it sitting in there where these contacts are sitting in this pocket. Okay, so due to my didn't measure once, and I'm already soldered it, the wire's a little bit shorter. I really wanted this further up, but right here works. The coil sitting over the battery, not over any of the uh, EF shields or RF shields down here. This isn't touching, so now I'm going to go put the case back on and see how well we did. I might take the little tabs off right here just to give the uh, little ear here a little bit of clearance on the way down. Uh, but I did just do a quick spot check, stuck it on the uh, charging pad and it did charge so we should be good to go. Okay so that's all soldered, you know, heated out, melted out, didn't screw up the back of the case. So now we're going to put it all back together. Might put a little bit more tape on here to just hold this in a little bit better but on that I think we're about good to go. Okay so what spawn this was, I had a nice waterproof case that I bought for my wife for this and in the case there's a little plug for the USB port she forgot to put that in water ingressed and that was a pretty dumb idea that you could marvelously charge it to keep the plug in all the time so this doesn't happen so now that we're all back together that's about where the charging coil is so let's put it on the G charging pad turn it this way so you can green light comes on should be charging and we're charging wirelessly. That'll put it in the wireless case and see if it works. So I said wireless case, I meant waterproof case. See the cheese on. And we're charging down there, which is good. So we're probably maxing out about the five millimeter thickness, but should work. So it's a great case. What is this? In CPO or whatever. Pretty good case. As long as you have the plug in. This is this is the plug that she forgot. So now I'll stay in there all the time. And we can charge it wirelessly. One final. We got the uh, case all back on and everything. And I put a little piece of tape there so she knows where the center is, but. I mean, stupid. Let's make it a lot out of me. Could be full too. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, it's not as precise. You know, less flexible as a little cell phone, but be it that this case is really thick, you're gonna have to be on it to make sure you're charging. So, a little side caveat to it, but no big deal. It's pretty cool. Probably the only, or one of the only, uh, Obviously chargeable Kindles on the market right now. Home week. Or home done. Hope this helps you in if you decide to do stumble like this. Just the uh, side note, the soldering is very, very small. So you have to have a steady hand or some experience with soldering. Because that is a tiny trace. More than that, pretty straightforward, pull it apart, put the, put the stuff in, put it back together, it'll charge.